I think that's a I think that's a pretty good thumbnail. <laughs> I know. <laughs> to I was sum like, up this movie. <laughs> I was like, once it hits like capture, then I'll look over and see what your reaction was. Otherwise, I'm gonna crack. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. Sometimes I know what pose to make, like Sonic the Hedgehog. It's easy enough. Uh, this one's just like. Huh, like even that's probably the face I made after the movie was done. <laughs> well, I already I, I already did the cold thing on when we reviewed Downhill. <laughs> well, it's taken a couple months, but we finally saw a uh, a, a good Christmas horror film. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh in February. Yeah. <laughs> we have one Christmas horror film that clearly should have been in January, and one that clearly should have been in December. <laughs> um yeah, this uh, we should tread lightly with this one because a lot of this movie is sort of based on the surprises. Yeah. Um, I mean, I the trailer I guess reveals like the very bare bones of it, I guess. Uh, but I mean, the again without giving away too much. Uh, the sum up is that um, uh, the, this this father is gonna take his two kids to middle of uh. In the middle of nowhere in winter mm. in this lodge uh, with the woman he's proposed to, going to be like the new mother. Uh, the kids don't like her very much, and we'll stop there. Yeah. <laughs> this will this, this be like Fantasy Island where we're like, brace yourselves for the full movie rundown. Or, or again, Black Christmas. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is... So you had seen Goodnight, Mommy before. Yes, I did. This is one that, uh, this feels to me like, cause when I got, I got the trailer for this, this like once, maybe, uh, once. I think I only got it once, but it was one of those where it's like, I could just tell this is a movie I really wanted to see. Oh yeah. Same, same here. <laughs> I, yeah. I, we should point out too, this is only in select, uh, like cities and theaters right now. I yeah. Mean, this we is just not got like it. a wide, uh, release. Like we even had to travel to like a yeah. theater that's kind of out of town to see it. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, um, I want to say we probably got the trailer for it in front of like the lighthouse. Mm. Like I'm, I'm sure we got, uh, we got it in front of some other like indie horror movie, but I remember even thinking at the time during the trailer going, this feels like it's like good night, mommy. Is this from the, from the creators of it? Like, Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> this kind of feels like, uh, the, the, the two who uh, wrote and directed that movie were approached to say, uh, we want you to remake your movie. And then, uh, but you know, Hereditary is pretty popular. Yeah. Throw in some of that. <laughs> yeah, and, and, it had and a real Hereditary vibe, and, and, and not in a bad way. And like, like all the really good, strong elements of Hereditary, I feel like were mostly here. Like it was, it was good elements to take. And the dollhouses too. And yeah, uh, and the uh, oh god, just the uncomfortable nature the uncomfortable of family stuff yeah i mean Grief, just throughout the whole thing lashing yeah. out yeah uh, I, I mean like all the the, the, the quiet yeah um yeah it, it, even i mean especially on this one like the loneliness the uh it, not knowing what's going on the, uh <laughs> it, is this you know what, what's real what isn't yeah the quietness was great because I was sitting there eating like uh, my peanuts that I had snuck in in this wrapper, and it's such a quiet movie that like <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been like this where you're kind of sitting there that it's something that's in a plastic bag. I know it's like I'm sitting there and I'm like, this is my dinner, and I'm sitting there and like it's quiet, quiet, and then like really loud music will start playing. I mean, if you're haunted by uh, like organ music in it. <laughs> There's, yeah, you're, you're gonna find this movie relatively chilling, but um, so then like the loud music would kick in, and I'd be like, "Okay, good." It was <laughs> hell sitting through gravity. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong movie to sneak plastic can plastic bag of candy into. Um, so did did you like it? Gravity or the peanuts? <laughs> yes, let's review Gravity, the goddamn the, movie. The, <laughs> no, review the peanuts. <laughs> All right, that's my other show. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to just reviewing food. I'm like, oh right, we're at a movie. No, when I, so when I was watching this movie, I I wasn't that crazy about Good Night, Mommy. To be perfectly mm. honest, I I don't know if it would. I don't know if it's something that would hold up for me on like a rewatch mm. but at the time when i saw it, and i saw it i saw it in the theater four or five years ago that came out and it was one where within about five minutes of the movie i kind of figured out what mm. was gonna happen throughout the rest of it and then the rest of the movie just kind of played out 
mm. like I anticipated it would. And even when it got to the climax of it, I I remember sitting there. I can't think specifically because it's been about it's been since it came out that I saw, but I kind of remember sitting there going like, I feel like someone could kind of get out of this situation easier than mm. this person is. So this one, uh, when it started out and it's dealing with a very tragic situation with grief and anger and hostility and everything, it was doing such a good job of really letting the camera linger on certain characters, like mm. the girl who, when she's in her bedroom and she's she's crying about this tragedy that's yeah. happened, and her brother comes in and lays next to her and is is holding her hand. That was great setup for everything that's gonna happen because what follows after that is Richard Armitage, who's the dad, is in a relationship with with another woman who he ends up getting engaged and she's gonna be these kids' stepmom. And I was really, <laughs> when it got to where the Heaven's Gate cult came into it, mm -hmm. I was sitting there going like, all right, I really love this movie. <laughs> it's not exactly the Heaven's Gate cult, but it's the Heaven's Gate cult. <laughs> they find out that this woman, Grace, is the only survivor of a, of a suicide cult. And it, like I said, it, it's pretty reminiscent of the Heaven's Gate cult. And even then... Uh... Again, just to sort of add to the tension, they're saying, like, you know, she was only kept alive so she could, like, spread the word or something like mm -hmm. that, you know, to, just to sort of add another layer of what the what could be going on, I suppose. I was really loving how that setup was shot, because it honestly takes a little bit for it to, to show her, the, the character Grace, and I was yeah, liking... Yeah, it was good build-up to her, yeah. It was, and I was liking how... She is kind of shot like a horror film, though, with the angle, with these kind of sinister angles that it's playing with her. And even a lot of the music stings as well when she's really not doing anything out of the ordinary. She's acting perfectly fine. But it, I liked how it was shot and edited. Like we're sort of seeing this from the kids' point of view mm. that they're sort of looking at her as this horror movie character based on what her past is what had recently just happened to them and just their kind of distrust for her anyway. And I honestly don't know, don't know where to go beyond that. Cause I don't <laughs> want to, I don't want to spoil this film except for the fact that, I mean, I, w I, I liked this a lot better than I liked good night, mommy. I, I like this a lot better too. And I do like good night, mommy, but man, I think you hit it. You said there's probably not much re what, ability to yeah. it. like once you know it's like all right and it just kind of plays out uh, -huh. uh with this one well I, was, I love that i didn't technically know what was going on though it Same. was it was one of those where we always yeah. talk about this like <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if and that's what's happening <laughs> but yeah. and, and when it does reveal what's going on you know i was like oh my god like 90% of this movie is amazing. Is this 10% going to ruin it for me? Because there are so many things that are stupid about this. Uh-huh. And I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that can't get past that, and I, I, I wouldn't blame them. But when it gets to, like, the ending ending, like, right yeah. before the credits and stuff like that, this felt very much like a very horrific, updated Grimm's fairy tale. Um, <laughs> mixed I, with... I, I, oh, mixed with? Mixed with, uh, you mentioned this after the movie, too, um... Actually, I don't know if I want to bring yeah, you this don't up. Want to say that. No, <laughs> you I'm, know I'm, where my head's I'm at. A Looney Tunes cartoon. A Looney yeah. Tunes cartoon. I, I'm like, wait, kinda, that might be a spoiler. <laughs> I was even kind of saying, like afterwards, I said, you know, you could maybe rewatch this again as a, an incredibly dark comedy. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is one of those things where it's because the movie is leading you down this path and making you think that you know this is. Because it is done very realistic, you yeah. know. I mean, the acting is so real, and mm -hmm. but the, even early on, there's some choices that some of the characters make where it's like, "Are you fucking kidding?" Like, I'm liking this movie fine, but I can't believe that character did something so stupid. And then it'll go along. It's like, okay, I'm liking this movie fine, but I can't believe that character did something so stupid. And then when it finally gets to the end, I'm kind of saying like. Okay, I don't think it was about that. I don't think it's that kind of movie. Uh -huh. I think it's the kind of movie where, like, you don't ask 
where did a scissor hands get the giant ice? Like it's sure. that kind of film, you know, it, it, it's something where, but it doesn't mm-hmm. set it up that way. So I mm-hmm. feel like a lot of people, when they get to the end, they're just going to bring up all these questions and be like, well, how can they be stupid enough to do this? How bad? And it, for me anyway, I was like, I don't think it's the kind of film where you're supposed to ask that. There but, was only, but, but it let, it made you think it was, and that yeah. can be an issue. I think there was only one, I didn't have that much of an issue with that other than one thing that a character does early on in it. Like, cause for the rest of the time I was sitting there, like sort of thinking about that, what you were saying, but also saying, well, the character in this movie knows more about his girlfriend or fiance than the kids do. And then the audience does. So certain things that characters were doing with each other, I was like, all right, looking at it from their point of view, I I, I can wrap my head around it. It was uh, when it got to his uh, uh, combination for this box. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, yeah. I can't defend you on this. <laughs> no, my, uh, my wife was with us and she's a social worker, uh, you know, particularly uh, dealing with kids. And she just constantly says... That's not what you do. That's not how you go about this. This is what is wrong with these people. And, and she she liked the movie, yeah. but she's just she's looking at like like a reasonable human being kind of thing. Like I feel like a lot of people watching this would. Yeah. Um, so I, I feel like that's the one thing that I, f- I feel like that's gonna break it for a lot of people. Even though because it was for me for a while, and then mm. like I said, when I got to the end, I started looking at it from this different point of view. I'm like. All right, I, I can accept it as kind of this, you know, it, m- morbid cautionary tale. Yeah, I mean, it it never got to that for me. Um, I was invest. I mean, I love stuff about cults, so yeah. like already <laughs> that was kind of winning me over. I was really digging the hell out of the acting in it, especially the kids. Also, how just bleak it looks to you. Yeah. <laughs> Snowy, foggy, gray. It's, it's amazingly bleak looking. The one part... I'm going to kind of dance around this a little bit. The one the, the one aspect of it where I thought, where I was thinking like, okay, if it's going to go in this direction, I don't know. Because for a lot of it, for a lot of it, I was finding it wildly unpredictable. Or at least to the point to where I <laughs> saw too. different scenarios of how it could end. Even their kind of saying what could be going on, their kind of theories that like, you know, people are thinking, the oh, could it be this? What could this be happening? Could yeah. they, which I like and I thought was, was kind of clever. The first time they did that is the part where I was like, did you just give away what you're going to do for the rest of the movie? Mm. And then when they did it again, I was kind of like, okay, I think I kind of, not that I'm guessing where it's going, but I'm like, all right, now there's, there's kind of a theme going with what these characters Mm. are doing. And it, it elaborates a lot more on that. And I think the reason why I was kind of thinking like, did this movie seriously just give away the rest of it? Like 45 minutes. Yeah. (laughs) Was because I thought Goodnight Mommy was really predictable. <laughs> so I was like, oh, like, uh, but, but. I, I was saying to myself, no, they can't be. And that that's especially why I started to think what the, the ending actually yeah. is. Um, but, but there is a part of me, too, that thinks like, you know, yeah, I was just like. No, they can't be. They can't be. <laughs> but then, like, the other, <laughs> what was going in my head, I'm like, but that can't be it either, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's There's a lot of different avenues this movie could go down. And, yeah. like, I dig every single one of them. Like, without saying what it is, did you... Did you like how the movie turned out, or did you like the uh, the resolution of it? Did you like the climax? Eventually, uh, I think. I if really it, did. Okay, here's the thing: if it ended like kind of like Sixth Sense, where they reveal it and then it ends shortly after, no, I wouldn't have liked it. Yeah. Um, but because it revealed it, and then it kind of kept going, and then it was sort of showing, okay, this is the story we're trying to tell. Yeah. You, you thought, because at first you're like, you don't know what kind of story it's trying to tell. And then when it gets to the ending, it's like, <clears throat> oh, okay, you're doing this. Like, this is the kind of movie that we're doing. Oh, um, mm. all right. And like I said, I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to like that you know that that this is the shift it's doing i mean i guess you can't even say shift but but it's definitely it's trying to set up in the beginning that you don't know where it's gonna go it could be like five different things going on uh and then when it finally picks one you kind of realize like oh that's like 
really different from the other four, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Um, so, uh, so I did, and I'm glad because I really thought I wasn't gonna like it. I'm like, oh man, because I'm just playing in my <laughs> head. But why would they do this? And how would this happen? Uh, and what, did, what was the point of that? And what, you know, all these things. Mm -hmm. But when it finally got to the end, especially where it ends, I love oh, that was awesome. Love where it ends. <laughs> Same here. Uh, I like, was like, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 even one of those things I love it when I watch a movie and I'm like, end there. Like, uh -huh. you would be so ballsy if you end there. And it does. I'm just like, yeah. yes. Like, you're so happy when it does that. Uh, yeah. So, it, yeah. But but it definitely took um, it took some warming up, too. You know what it's like in uh, Hot Fuzz mm -hmm. when they're showing what's really going on and it's looking like it's going this one direction? I'm like, oh, no. I, I might have to. This movie might suck now. Oh, no. But uh -huh. then you see what they're ultimately doing. And it's kind of like. All right, that's really fucking cool. I actually really like that. Um, but I do, like I said, I I feel like a lot of people are going to get stuck, and I don't blame them. They're going to get stuck in the details because the rest of the movie really focused a lot on the details. Um, I, I, I guess not too much, but it very much did a grounded reality mm -hmm. uh, uh, type of movies. Uh, and so that's, even though I like that it, it tricked me, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people aren't going to get past that. And that's going to be unfortunate. I'll say if you like, um, if you go see a lot of movies like this, more indie horror stuff, if you liked movies like Good Night, Mommy, which again, I thought this was a lot better than that. And if you mm -hmm. also liked stuff like uh, It Comes at Night, or hereditary. Hereditary is the big uh, one that pops up. Yeah, yeah. Hereditary, definitely. Um, if that's the kind of stuff that you're that you're into, or that you're that maybe not even that you like every single one of those movies, mm -hmm. but that's at least the like genre of horror you see. I was gonna say it seems like it's becoming kind of a new genre, uh, uh, which I like honestly. Yeah, um, mm. it's. You, <laughs> It's like what we were talking about last week during Fantasy Island, where this is one where all the reveals that are put into it, there there is a lot of care put into it, and it certainly spends a lot of time with the characters and letting you get to know these characters to tr at least try to get a vibe of, of, of what they're about or, or a read on them. Um, especially with this story that they got going in the movie. And it feels like it's, it's a very carefully plotted movie to to really earn a lot of the reveals it makes mm -hmm. as opposed to what we were saying last week <laughs> with fantasy Island, where it was like, <laughs> all right, for the final draft of the script, just throw in something in the end. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. Just throw something in there at the end of fantasy Island. Well, it's funny that you brought that up because, you know, fantasy Island was, was a bloom house film. And I feel like there's two, like you got your generic horror that, that comes out and stuff like that. And then yeah. I feel like you have two camps that are, they're very hit and miss. Yeah. You know, but, but that's fine. Uh, but they definitely have like a feel to them, almost like they're their own genre. One is Bloomhouse, and the other, I mean, I don't know the name is, I just want to call it the A24 I, horror films. Even when it's not A24? Yeah, I mean, this is an A24, but it feels yeah. like an A24 horror film. And Sometimes uh, you get a hybrid of both, like Gretel and Hansel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I feel like with... Uh, you know, like you mentioned, it, it comes at night. That's the one with the aspect ratio changing, right? Is that the one? Did that happen in that movie? It happened in Transformers 5. <laughs> <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> I always get those confused. <laughs> uh, that's why people locked in a house and there's something out there, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, like, that one I didn't care for, but, but I still yeah. acknowledge... It's that style. It's yeah. that feel. It, it seems very a good fan slow burn. Yeah, very slow. Very usually claustrophobic. yeah claustrophobic, family oriented, yeah. uh, very quiet. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I, it's you know where horror films used to be like maybe you got one out of like fifty good ones. You know, and and like everything else is like just a run of the mill slasher film, which mm -hmm. even they have their place and everything. But oh yeah. Uh, I feel like now there's kind of these two camps going, and I'm really okay with it. Even when they're bad, there's kind of, like, just this feel to them that I'm like, okay, you missed this time, but I look forward to next time, you know? It's, yeah. it's something I weirdly look forward to them uh, because it's kind of like the Marvel movies. They're not all fantastic, but it's still, there's definitely, like, a, a universal feel mm -hmm. to them. Like, you know, okay, even if this one didn't hit, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one. And I was, 
this is a hammer movie. So I sp- and, and speaking of Marvel, I kind of like how the opening logo for <laughs> Yeah, hammer. it's almost like except with the hammer horror films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like one of them has Stan Lee in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's not every day I see a logo like this with a shot from one million years BC. <laughs> um, and with it being, I'm trying to think of the last movie I saw from them. I There was The Quiet Ones, I think that's what it was called, which wasn't very good. The second Woman in Black movie. Was I was going to say, the first good. Woman in Black, my... I think is the last one I saw. I didn't even know they were still like making movies. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like when I saw that, I'm like, Oh, like Mm -hmm. they're still a thing. That's cool. Yeah. This is, uh, unless there's something that I saw and just simply forgot that it was a hammer movie. This is one of the, best ones I've seen I have to see the other ones they made yeah. in, in <laughs> well, a I mean, while, in I, a long I, while I was going to say are we going back to like you know oh, Christopher I mean, Lee Dracula and stuff it's or, hard I mean, to even compare this to yeah that. it's like apples and oranges yeah. Yeah. that's why I was kind of shocked to see the logo on there honestly yeah yeah I know and I was kind of worried at first because I was like I recall the last couple movies I saw with that in front <laughs> of them weren't, that weren't all that good <laughs> but I, I totally recommend this movie I really 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 dug it like I, did, yeah. I dug the hell out of this film. I, I say if um, I I can't guarantee how you're gonna react to the ending. Uh, you know, but uh, it, it does keep you guessing. It's not, you know, something that explains everything. No, this is going on. Like it kind of keeps you guessing, but you can follow it just enough. It's uh, it has great acting. It yeah. looks wonderful. It has the grief. Mm-hmm. It has the uh, you know, suspense going on. It, it is slow. Uh, I, I'd say there's not that many. I mean, there are some scares. I uh, was creeped out during a lot. Yeah, of it's, movie. it's. I'd say it's more creepy yeah. than, than scary. But there is a lot of what's. What's gonna happen? You know, there's some, some unsettling shit in this movie. <laughs> Super, yeah. No, honestly, the last film I can think of, I mean, I guess the opening of Midsummer, but before that, yeah, like Hereditary. Uh, and again, it's a uh, if done well, it's a style I'm really open to. Just the idea of like taking these really tough family uh, situations uh, and, and just like really just not mm-hmm. not sugarcoating it in the yeah. goddamn least just being like you know not only brutally honest but like you know I mean just mean just flat out mean and I just don't I don't see that in horror films without it coming across like really hokey or, or uh, not genuine and these I mean because the acting and the writing and the directing is just so good mm-hmm. uh, it, it does feel genuine and you're just so uncomfortable whenever people like the scariest scenes are just when people are talking to each other it's like what are they gonna say to each other that you organ know? and that painting in the background yeah uh, <laughs> the angles that it's doing are consistently unsettling because mm. you're expecting someone is just gonna crack at some point in this film and i'm sitting there going i don't know who it's gonna be <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but so, some shit's gonna happen. Like, for all I know, maybe it's the dog. Yeah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But, uh, it is one where for, like, all movies like this, it's it's certainly gonna be polarizing to a general audience. In the right way, because I feel like that's good when a horror movie is like, is is like this, because at least you'll kind of be getting something different. Mm. When they try, like, fucking lying through their teeth about it. What, what, what was it you sent me where it was someone called someone called Black Christmas the most controversial horror film? Yeah, ever. like I'm Ryan Tomatoes or something. Yeah. <laughs> controversy, yeah, because no one liked it. Yes, but like all oh, great horror films, it divided audiences. I'm like, like oh, no, 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 it didn't even divide audiences. It got people really angry. It's like, not because it was saying anything like <laughs> provocative, but because it was stupid. <laughs> because it was awful. <laughs> Trust me, we should we should know. We were the only two people wanting yeah. to go see it that weekend. <laughs> That's why every review we do has to have a tie-in back to Black Christmas. It does. We always bring it back to Black yeah. Christmas. Yeah, when I saw that this movie was taking place during Christmas, I'm like, thank you, I have an excuse now. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, I'll bring up, I went out of my way not to bring up Black Christmas in this movie. Not review. me. You brought I, it up. Not only did I bring it up, I led with that shit. Because <laughs> I saw that, I'm just like, must resist Black Christmas jokes. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Made oh, too it, many. Oh, it's it's gonna happen. <laughs> we'll find some way for... 
we'll find some way for uh, Invisible Man next week to <laughs> get it to some woman in that is women in black Christmas. Do you know that? <laughs> this women was, in black Christmas. This was the way better horror movie with women in it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I am hyped as hell. Same dude. That. That's honestly, yeah. I don't know. That's a. I was looking at lists of movies like coming out this year. I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm, I, I guess I'll see that. Yeah, okay, that might be good. It's just like Invisible Man. Fuck yes, like that's the one I'm super excited for right now. <laughs> see, you get to like pick and choose. I gotta flip through and be like, I gotta see that one. Gotta see that <laughs> one. Gotta see that. I don't know what that is, but I gotta see it. <laughs> I didn't even know there was an Impractical Jokers movie out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that either until you brought up. I didn't either until I walked in. There. <laughs> <laughs> this theater has some. Um, Movies you don't, we don't really get in town. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or what else they have here that uh, we probably uh, don't get? Yeah, I don't know. The regular theater didn't get the... I mean, Into Jokers the Wild? Movie. Where's that showing? <laughs> Harrison Ford? I mean, he doesn't still fill up movie theaters at all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rob, Rob and I will be at the regular theater for that one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I so hope they have a blooper reel of all the times without... Showing the CG dog and showing the do. dude there, I would love. That. I've seen a little bit of it in like behind the scenes oh footage. God. Like I just uh, can't believe uh, that's uh, a thing. Dog, he's rolling on his back. It just felt ridiculous. <laughs> Why not use a dog? <laughs> Because what? this whole thing is a relaunch of punk to just to screw with Harrison Ford. <laughs> so it's expensive prank ever All made. Right. If that was the case, then I would recommend the shit yeah. out of that movie. I don't even care what kind of movie it is. I would recommend it. It's like when Arnold pranked Stallone into being in Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. I got a couple of movies. Uh, um, Brahms, The Boy 2. And, uh, um, Call of the Wild. We were literally yeah. just talking about that 15 seconds ago. Oh, I think I called it Into the Wild. Sorry, my bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, th I think I called it Into the Wild. I don't know. Oh. Well, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Some I'm not going to see it CG either way. dog movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a bunch, everyone, for watching. Take care. Take care. Later. See you tomorrow.